So you've just gone into your Microsoft Outlook and all of a sudden you've just been hit with this message on screen saying that the PST file has reached its maximum file size and you must now reduce that file size in order to continue receiving email. Now, as you know, guys, emails are now getting larger in size. Um, mailboxes are staying around the same size unless obviously you start to buy increased storage plans. However, this error is relating to the data that is stored in your computer, so within Outlook in that PST file. Now, I'm going to be showing you a quick way that you can get around this. Um, this is going to be a quick registry edit, so I'm hoping that this helps you sort this problem out. Again, it's fixed it for myself and some of my clients as well. So again, it's going to be a quite a short and sweet sort of video. So just a quick introduction anyway, guys. My name's Matthew from Matthew's Tech Hub. Hope you're doing well. And uh, without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so now that we're at the desktop, guys, what we're going to do is we now need to jump into something called the registry editor. Now there's two ways that you can do this. You can either just go down to the bottom where your start menu is and then just search for reg edit. Again, I'll put everything on the screen. And then again, you can just click on it right here. But if you don't want to do it this way and you want to do it the old fashioned way, you can just hold down the Windows key and then press R, which will bring up the run window. And again, you can just type in reg edit and then straight away just press enter. And again, here you go. You'll now be into the registry editor. Now, what I would recommend, guys, is before we do anything here, I would highly stress that you do take a backup. If anything does go wrong, or if you maybe delete the wrong key, or if you delete something, like I say, if you just edit something that isn't, isn't correct, again, that can cause major problems with Windows. So I really can't stress enough that you do take a backup here. So the way to do that is before we do get started, you need to go to the file in the top left-hand corner, go up to export right here. And then straight away, you can uh, at the bottom where it says export range, just select all, and then you can choose the location where you want to save it and then just hit save. But make sure you save it as a file name that you're going to recognize. So now we're going to come out of this and we're going to jump straight back in. So what we're going to do, guys, so on the left hand side, you notice you've got all these folders here, but these are actually called keys. So you, what we need to do, you need to go to the following key. So we're going to export the H key current user and then we're going to go down to software right here. And I'm going to look for a now look for a folder called Microsoft. And then within Microsoft, you're then going to look for a folder called Office. Now you'll see here on, on my machine, because I've, I've had multiple versions of Microsoft Office on this machine. But if you've maybe got one version or if you've got multiple like myself, you are going to need to go to the specific folder that you're of the Outlook that you are running. So I'm currently running Outlook 2021, which is the latest version. But if you are maybe running 2019 or 2016, again, those are going to be different numbers. But I'll put the key, uh, the, the key diff, well, what the key, each number means on screen now. So again, just make sure that you follow that location. So I'm going to be following number 16 right here because that's the latest version of Office. So we're going to go into number 16. We're going to expand this and then I'm going to go into a folder called Outlook. Now again, if you don't have the folder Outlook showing in here, what you can do is you can actually right click on where it says 16, go to new and then key and then you can just create a folder and then just type in Outlook. But make sure you do put a capital O at the start. And then if you expand the Outlook folder, we now need to look for a, file, uh, a folder called PST. So as you can see now, I've got the PST again, but again, if you haven't got the PST file in there, or sorry, the PST folder showing in there, again, you can just right click on Outlook, go to new and then click on key and then just type in PST all in capitals. So now we jump into PST. Um, what we're gonna do now guys, is we're now gonna right click in this blank space here, go to new and you're gonna click on where it says D word 32 bit value. Now you need to type this in, which again, you need to type it exactly how it is shown on screen with the capital letters. So make sure you do that. So the first thing you need to type in is max large file size, and then just press enter to register that there. And then what we're gonna do is go to right click new, and then do the same again, 32 bit value. And we're gonna type in one large file size, just like this, and then press enter. Now, what we need to do, guys, is we need to go double click on the max large file size. So at the moment, uh, Microsoft Outlook stores, well, the, the PST file sizes are a maximum of 50 gigabytes, but I'm going to increase this to uh, to 100 gigabytes. So it just gives us another 50 gigabytes of storage. So what we need to do now is we need to go to decimal. So if you're increasing it to, um, well, again, this is going to be in megabytes. So if you are going to be increasing it to 100, the value of that would be 102400. And it's going to click on OK, just right here. And then what for the warn large file size, this is the uh, where we're now going to be changing the warning limits. So that message that just come up on screen, which I showed you at the start of the video, we're now going to change that so it comes up just slightly before 100 gigabytes, just so you know then to either increase it more or again, maybe start deleting some emails. 
Now for Wharton large file size guys, I would recommend that you set this maybe slightly less than 100 gigabytes in, megabit, in megabyte values even. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select decimal again and I'm just going to do um, just slightly under 100 gigabytes. So I'm going to do 97,280 uh, here, which will be uh, around about 90, I think it's about 98, 90, 98, 99 gigabytes. So you want to do that um, just because obviously you want to get the warning just before, obviously because as soon as if they do hit the 100 gigabyte limit again, it's going to completely stop receiving emails. And that's it. So once you've entered that, um, you can now just close out of the registry editor. And then you, all you need to do now is just quickly do a quick reboot on your PC. And then hopefully your Outlook will now open up and you'll start receiving emails. And that will now be increased to 100 gigabytes. So again, guys, this has been a very short video, but I hope that helps you out. And if it has, please smash that uh, subscribe button right at the bottom. And if you, this video has helped out, please also hit the like button as well. And don't forget to also hit that notification bell just so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Once again, guys, it's Matthew from Matthew's Tech Hub, and thank you for tuning in. Catch you next time. Bye for now.